State House candidate Julie McCluskey outlines her plans for education and health care. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, the National Weather Service calls for warmer and drier conditions across most of the United States this winter. But Boulder forecaster Scott Entrickin says be patient. Spring might be a doozy. Usually with El Nino winters, we'll see a nice big late spring storm, especially through maybe March and April. Forecasters predict average or slightly below average snowfall for Summit County. Near Steamboat and into Wyoming, conditions will be even drier. But the big winter is down south in the San Juans, where this past Last winter was dismal due to widespread drought. The hope is that some of that will be alleviated uh, over this next coming winter with an above normal precipitation expected. That long range forecast bodes well for our snowpack, and snowfall could return next Tuesday or Wednesday. If that's the start of something, we'll hopefully have a good winter. Forecasters remind powderhounds that snow forecasts are only reliable a week or less in advance. Breckenridge Town Council has committed $8 million to townwide broadband internet known as Fiber Hoods. Construction begins next year in the Wellington neighborhood, and town staff say it's just as important as roads or the $53 million water plant down the street. Haley Littleton with the town. We really feel that, like roads, fiber is, is the next key infrastructure for local governments. Littleton says Fiber Hoods provide more than reliable internet. They also help with future city infrastructure. Everyone kind of throws this out there, but eventually driverless cars, all of those innovative stuff that's coming down the pipeline, you need this kind of connection for it. This investment follows nearly a decade of year-over-year -year growth in Breck, but the current council is being cautious with budget reserves. We are being very conscious of making sure we do have that rainy day fund and we do have fund balance set aside to pad ourselves just in case. The town expects to collect revenue of $33.4 million this year. The suicide rate in Summit County is three times higher than the national average, but five of eight suicides this year were by people who came from out of town. When people are coming here specifically to get a last look at the beautiful mountains before they, they choose to leave, it is really difficult to make an impact in those lives. That's Betsy Casey with Building Hope, a local mental health nonprofit. She says it's hard to confirm why people come here for suicide, but the trend is is nothing new. Suicide and mental health issues in general are no discriminator. I think that they, they affect all age ranges, all demographics, all socioeconomic statuses. Building Hope would benefit from Measure 1A, a mill levy increase that could pump $2 million annually into mental health services. Most locals know Julie McCluskey as a longtime Summit School District employee, but the Democratic candidate for State House also has time at the Colorado Capitol working on education legislation. I want to make sure that our kids leave our school districts ready for college or career, and they're well prepared for the 21st century marketplace, global marketplace. Education, housing, and climate change are high on candidate McCluskey's to-do list. So are water, farming rights, and public lands. Those concerns came from district-wide tours shaking hands with more than 7,000 constituents in her five counties. How do we help the working people and families in our mountain and rural communities live their own version of their Colorado dream or their grand Colorado adventure? So what about health care? McCluskey realizes her district pays more than the rest of the state. It is Absolutely my belief and value that every man, woman, and child should have access to high-quality health care in the areas where they live. McCluskey promises to fight for prescription drug and pricing transparency. She says health care reform starts with state-level policies, calling the federal system very complicated. McCluskey runs against Republican Mike Mason of Delta in the November 6th election. They are the only two candidates. In sports, Game 2 of the World Series is tonight in Boston. The Red Sox are up, one game to nothing over the Dodgers. First pitch is 6.09 p.m. on Fox. Also tonight, the Avalanche play the Lightning. Puck drop is 7.30. And in local sports, brought to you by Deepwater Mountain, Inc., all Summit High sports teams are off today. Lady Tigers volleyball is back on the court tomorrow, Thursday, when they play Eagle Valley. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.